iOS based zone based firewall uh, we have some security zones two types it can be either user defined security zones or system predefined security zones now the user defined are nothing but just like the interface assigned with some name like LAN or internet or any name and typically we call it as user defined zone because we are going to define some name and done by the administrator and it, it's something traffic moving through the router so so any traffic you want to control between between the two zones or the user defined zones uh, we need to we need to mention these names so you can use any name like inside outside dmz trusted untrusted any kind of names so it, it typically deals with the traffic which is moving through the router coming from one interface to another interface in simple words we can say one one zone to another zone now you may also want to configure some kind of policies based on the traffic destined to the router or maybe just like you know you want to control what traffic should uh, should be allowed like you you may want to deny a specific users trying to access telnet to the router from the outside network so this is something traffic destined to the router or you may want to make sure that this router uh, do not send any kind of uh, NTP or accept any kind of NTP traffic or or some kind of SSH traffic or maybe some kind of don't send any log messages outside this outside this interface so in that case we can uh, we can we, we actually refer uh, we can actually configure some policies based on uh, system predefined zones so in system predefined zones it deals with uh, something like a traffic which is either destined to the router which is configured with a zone based firewall or the traffic which is initiated by the router so it's not the traffic transiting from one interface to another interface it's a traffic destined or source from the router itself so typically like control protocol like routing protocol traffic you don't want to send any kind of ospf messages back on this interface or don't accept any kind of ospf traffic from any specific device on the outside interface or or kind of some kind of telnet or ssh these kind of options so uh, we'll be countering some policies based on uh, system predefined as well so uh, there's a reason you'll see typically we call this as self zone so when we write some policies we either write a name of the zone that is that is refer that refers to the user defined whereas self zone refers to the refers to the traffic which is initiated or destined to the router itself